Right, if we're doing NCA Level 2 and doing the trade topic, one of the first things is about exports and imports. Uh, with flow here that's out of the country, a money flow out of the country is called an import payment. So make sure you look at the flow and see where the money's up. So if the money's going overseas, it's an import. And again, um, if the money comes in, it's going to be what we call an export receipt. Here, these are the main products New Zealand imports, and again, you might be asked to uh, just list those. So I'll write those up here. Those are our main imports, and obviously, petrol is number one. The interesting thing on our main exports is the look that we actually export quite a bit of oil from uh, Taranaki. So, those are our main exports. As you would expect, our dairy industry at the top meat and edible offal, offal and uh, logs of water are there too. Over here, our main destinations, uh, our number one trading partner, Australia, followed by these other countries, USA, China and Japan. Again, the interesting thing about our main destinations, that is both for our exports and our imports, our main trading partners are those four there. The other thing you're going to have to do at level two is to classify uh, products as either goods or services and as an import or an export. A New Zealander that's going to Fiji, um, the, that's tourism, so it's a service, and because the money's going to end up overseas, we look up over there and see that is actually an import. Uh, our foreign fee-paying students in New Zealand, a Korean, Korean student, say, studying NCA, Again, it's, a, uh, it's education, it's a service, it's uh, money coming into New Zealand. So if you look at the diagram, that's an export receipt. John Deere tractors used by many of the farmers around the country. That is a good. The tractor is a good. Uh, the thing about it, even though it's coming into the country, it is an import. Money ends up going overseas for it. Ford and Holden cars, again, they're both goods and we import those. Anchor milk powder, it's a good. Powders of milk is good, and the money comes back in New Zealand when it's sent overseas as an export receipt. Taranaki oil, again, it's good. The money ends up coming back in New Zealand as an export. New Zealand are flying on Qantas. Uh, flying, again, it's one of those transporters as a service, so we're gonna write down the service and the money is going to end up in Australia for Qantas, so it is an import. And the final one on this, Australian wine, is it good? And the money is going to end up in Australia for that wine, that is going to be an import. Also at level two, uh, you're going to get questions where you're going to have to classify different um, examples as a component on the balance of payments, going through them. Uh, these items here, meat, oil, oil and machinery, they're good, so we call this our balance on goods. These items here are all services, uh, insurance, tourism, transport, education, so we call that balance on services. The items here, interest, dividends and profit, that's a balance on income. Well, the last one, gifts and foreign aid, is what we call balance on current transfers. Now, taking those items all together, you will balance on goods, your balance on services, balance on income and balance on current transfers, this is called our balance on the um, current account. Looking at our next component of our balance of payments, migrants, transfers and assets that people bring when they move from one country to another, patents, copyrights and buying property, that is part of a uh, balance of payments on our capital account. And the last component of our balance of payments that makes up our balance of payments is items such as buying and selling shares, loans, 
borrowing to set up factories, buying and selling government securities. This is classified as our financial account. Just to give some examples here, um, you get a question like this and then you're going to have to classify it according to uh, what we've just talked about over there. Because it's the word insurance and it's payment for insurance, you're just going to have to call it a balance on services. Going to the next one, lamb, lambs are good, so that's going to appear on the balance on goods account. Uh, a New Zealand firm buys a manufacturing firm overseas. Uh, the buying of that firm is going to appear in our financial account. Going to the next one, government aid, that if comes into our balance on current transfers. An Australian person that comes over here and buys property in Queenstown is part of the uh, what we call our capital account. The uh, tourist is a service. So that's going to appear again on our balance on services. The interest paid, uh, that's going to be our balance on income. If it was the loan itself, then that would be financial account. Your copyright, if you look back to your earlier list, you'll see that is capital account. And foreign uh, managers of funds overseas often will buy reserve bank uh, securities such as bonds. That appears in our financial account. And the last one here, setting up a factory again, it is what we call a financial account transaction. <coughs> 